Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to share with you eight questions I try to ask myself every single day. Don't ever forget there is a magic about you that is all your very own. The first question I want to ask you is, what would you say if you were to ask yourself, what is my ideal day? What would all the elements be in that very perfect day? Because they say that how we live our days is actually how we're going to be living our lives. And maybe you could ask yourself, is this perfect day that I am mapping out going to be getting me closer to the type of life that I want? Now, we all are unique, so we're all going to have different answers. But just think about that. What would your perfect day be? Mine would be maybe having a cup of coffee up in the garden on a sunny day, you know, walking my dog, uh, journaling, being creative, planning out what type of conversation I'm going to be having here on YouTube, and spending quality time with my family. Those are all really important things to me, and they are things that I think that are getting me closer to what I consider living a perfect life. The second question is, who do you spend a lot of time with? Who do you hang out with? What kind of people are they? Are they people who make you feel good, that lift you up and make you feel positive? Because if you are not hanging out with those kind of people, I suggest that you get other friends. And I know if they're family members that are very negative, Spend a limited time with them because they say when you're around people who are negative, you absorb that negativity. But when you are around people that lift you up and make you feel positive, those are the group of friends that you want to spend the rest of your life with. When things happen to us in life, you know, during our days, during our weeks, sometimes we just wonder, you know, why is this happening? But the big question you have to ask yourself is, is this under my control? Is this something that I have control over? Well, you know, there are only certain things we have control over. We don't have control over the weather. And as you know, recently, Ian, the hurricane passed by Florida. It. I'm on the East Coast, so we just got the winds and the rain. But unfortunately, the rest of the state on the West Coast really got a terrible, terrible hammering. It's tragic and it's awful. Now, those people had no control, all the residents over there had no control whatsoever over the weather. They could control whether they left, they could control certain things, taking precautions, but overall, they did not have complete control over the situation. We don't have control over other people, their ideas, what they do, their actions. We have no control over that. What we do have control over is us. We have control over our own lives, and that's the only thing that we should really be concerned about. We shouldn't be worried about having control over other people in our lives. Just control over what we do and our actions and how we are living our own lives. Are you a to be person or are you a to do person? Now, what in the heck is that? To be person is someone who likes the accolades. They like the, the most important thing to me is not the project. The most important thing is getting all of the pats on the backs and the the love from doing something. Well, quite honestly, I am a to-do person. I'd rather do in the background and I would rather get results. I'm a result 
oriented person. And I do believe that people who are a to-do person, they're happier and they are giving back to society and they are achieving more. Accolades last only for a minute. They're very superficial, but the real, real core of being active and doing something is getting results, being results oriented. What am I missing in life if I choose to be worried or afraid. We've talked about this before. These are such negative emotions that drag us down. They, they are so bad for us mentally and physically, and they are of absolutely no use whatsoever. Try to step back, take a deep breath, as I've said before in other videos, and move forward. But do not let those emotions control you because they will stop you dead in your tracks and make your day absolutely awful. Don't, don't buy into those emotions and let them control you at all. Another question that I ask myself and then you can ask yourself is, what is really important to you? Now that sounds kind of a, a deep or could be also a vague question. What is important to me? What really matters to you? What is important to you in the big picture? When you find the answer to that, what is important to you in the big picture, it really helps out a lot because it allows you to move forward with your life because you know the direction you want to go in. You know who you are and you know what really is important to you in your life and what is important in your day. When you find what is important to you, honestly, then what happens? You actually find the real balance in your life. Now we all have a lot of decisions to make, don't we? We have things happening to us but we have to shift out and sift out what things really matter and what things are really, really important to us in life. When things happen to all of us and when things happen to me in my day or when things happen to you in your day, you have to step back and you say, does this really matter? Does this really matter? Is this essential? In the scheme of things, in the bigger picture of things, does this really matter? What matters to you? Honestly, what really matters to you? People, the people you love, being the best person that you can be, these are really things that matter. The rest of it is only temporary, but the genuine things that matter are those core people around you and those core values that you have in your life, trying to be the best person you can be and trying to realize how important it is to love those around you. I often ask myself this question a lot. I'm confronted with a lot of issues and a lot of things, as I'm sure you are too. And I ask myself this question so often, is this who I really want to be? And I've asked myself throughout my life, because we are all faced with challenges, we're all faced with circumstances, aren't we? And is this who we really want to be? Is this the image or the persona that we want to put out there for the world? That's really a heavy question, I think, isn't it? I try my best to, to live the best life I can, and I try to stick to my values and my morals. And I always tell my children, that it is really important before they do anything in life 
to always ask them this question, ask themselves this question. Is this who they really want to be? Today we are faced with so many challenges. The world is so different, especially for us women who are, you know, 50, 60 and beyond. The world has changed and things are so different than they were years ago. These are the questions that I ask myself and I hope that maybe you will ask yourself today and whenever you think about it when you wake up. Are the things that I'm going to be today bringing me closer to the type of life that I want to live? Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your being here. Please be good to yourself. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. Let's share the love. And of course, let's pray for world peace. Thank you so much. And if you like this kind of conversation, I would love to have you subscribe. Take care and I hope to see you again next Tuesday.